Hi guys! So today we are going to do my Thanksgiving makeup. That's what I wore to Thanksgiving this year. Um, sorry for the weird background, um, but the lighting in my house is so weird right now, so just bear with me and we'll get started. I thought today that I'd do a talk through instead of doing a voiceover like I normally do on my makeup videos and we can just chat a little bit, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do if I can find it. What I'm going to do is moisturize my face with this Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion. Um, I don't really like Clinique, <laughs> but I'm out of my, um, what's that stuff called? Stuff called? My Philosophy uh, moisturizer. And so this will do in a pinch. But if you have like dry skin like I do, for some reason, this stuff like it shouldn't bother my skin but it does it like makes my clogs pour up so bad and I get breakouts so and I did buy the one for very dry to dry combination skin and I don't know it just doesn't work and then we're gonna let that dry for just a little bit and then we are going to go in with our primer today I'm gonna use the Smashbox photo finish primer um, my favorite one is the green one I think it's like a correcting primer or whatever I think it works the best out of all of them, but I do like this one as well. So, and I just got it like in a little sample thing, so I'm just trying to use it all up. Um, the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer, and I'm going to use that as my um, eyeshadow base today. I just like it because it covers up all of like your fine lines and like it kind of gives it like a foundation base for your eyeshadow so you don't see any of your like veins or anything. I hate that. I like literally hate it so much. You have no clue. So we're going to go ahead and look like a raccoon for a quick minute. I like the Urban Decay uh, priming potions. They work really good too, but for something that like I just want my eyes to stand out a lot, I'm just going to go ahead and use this because it is going to do such a great job of covering up all of the redness. And as you can tell, like, if you can just look at my face right now, it is so red. Like, I have red all here, red all here, red everywhere. <laughs> red ain't cute. Then I'm going to go in with the Naked 2 little palette. And I'm just going to take, like, a little fluffy dome brush. I think this is the brush that comes with the Naked 3 palette. No, the Naked Smoky palette. And we're going to go in with this color right here. It's called Frisk. And I'm just going to take it on my brush and I'm just going to start at the inner corner. Or the outer corner, I'm sorry. And just go in. And I am going to go a little higher than my crease. Just because I do have hooded eyes. And so it is not that noticeable. The color is not that noticeable when I just put it in my crease. And we're just going to do that. And it doesn't need to be perfect right now because we're going to put a few more shades on top of it. But just make sure you blend it out really well. Then we're going to go in with the next cover. It's called Cover. And do the same exact thing right on top of that. I was just going to stick with these colors in here originally. Um, I was going to do the green on the eye. But um, I really wanted like a pop of orange. And the only orange that I really found that I really like is in this Morphe palette. It's the 35W palette. And I'm going to start off with this, like, peachy color. And just use that same brush again. And I'm just going to do what I did last time and just keep going. Like, I know it seems like a lot of eyeshadows, but it's a really easy look because really all you need is just a couple eyeshadow brushes. Um, it doesn't really matter if they're, like, blended together. So, because they're, they're just going to blend it together anyways. And I'm going to take, I took this shade here and this shade right here and I'm going to mix them together and then we're just going to go this time when I do it I'm going to work a little bit up higher and make sure I go into this crease down here and like really if you're looking for cheap inexpensive like eyeshadows like I use a lot of MAC eyeshadows and a lot of uh, Urban Decay eyeshadows but if you're looking for cheap like really good quality Eyeshadows, I would recommend the Morphe palettes. Like, they are unbelievable, and I I just love them. And it's fine, because we're going to go over it again uh, after we put down the green, because once you put the green down, it kind of meets out the color. So we are going to take um, just a little, you know, flat brush, 
And I am going to go in with the Urban Decay um, Oz palette. I think it's like the Theodora palette. And I'm going to take this darker shade of green and I'm going to pat it on the outer corners, the outer corner and the inner corner. Little space blank. I can honestly say that I've like really never used this palette, but I was like, oh, it has pretty greens in it and just kind of mix it together. And I'm going to pop that on the inner part of the eye. I'm going to go in with this, um, MAC eyeshadow. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called like green smoke or something like that. I like used to absolutely love this color. If you can tell I've hit pan, which is kind of hard to do with MAC eyeshadows unless you use them like every day. The only MAC eyeshadow that I probably use every single day or at least most days is tempting. I love that color. Like I've seriously probably bought like six or seven of those. They're just so gorgeous. And I'm going to like just darken the outside corners. So if you want, you can just take, it's basically a darker green color. And I'm just going to focus that in the corner. And in this corner. Again, leaving the middle open. And all it's going to do is just give it some dimension. You, like I said, you could totally leave it the way that it was. But I thought it just needed a little bit more something. Then for a little bit of like sparkly pop we're gonna go in with this nyx roll on uh it's in color all the other day i just like rolled it on but that didn't work so i'm just gonna pop it right here on the back of my hand and it's a really pretty color if you can tell and i'm just gonna take a flat like actually a flat brush and i'm just gonna pick it up and pop it right in the middle of that eye I'm going to take the MAC 224 brush. Love these brushes. Like, these are just, like, seriously the best brushes to have. Um, I think Sigma has a similar brush. And they're just, like, fluffy, like, shader brush or um, blending brushes. And they work so good. So I'm going to take the um, Morphe palette again and just go in. Just go in with those orange colors again on the MAC 224 brush. Just to uh, get a little bit more pigment. And just blend it out a little bit better. So I'm just going to use the L'Oreal True Match um, Lumi. And it is in W3. Um, I just stipple it everywhere because I feel like if you put it on something, you're just going to waste a lot of product. So why give yourself extra, you know, trouble? But if you are using this on a client, obviously don't do this stuff. We're just going to blend out. And this is the Sigma F80 brush. Yeah, a beauty brush. Holy grail of foundation brushes. Clearly, it doesn't match my face, but I promise you that it does match the rest of my body because I am a little bit tanner on my body, but my face is stark white like a ghost. Now, I was just trying out this foundation. Usually, I use the Kat Von D foundation, and I really like it, but um, I just figured that I would try out like a, you know, a cheaper foundation. I mean, I really like this one for a drugstore product. It works really good. So if you're looking for a good drugstore foundation, I would highly recommend it. Concealer. And I'm just going to use that MAC Pro Longwear again. And I think I forgot to mention it earlier, but it is in the shade NC15. Too. Have that under the eyes. And I'm going to go up the nose. And we're going to go in the forehead. On my cupid so and on my chin. I'm just gonna start blending it out a little bit with my finger to warm it up and then I am going to take a damp beauty blender and smear it out or <laughs> smear it out and uh, distribute it everywhere else. I do just want to do an upside down V as you can tell it won't be that harsh when we do blend it in, but just to make sure that you don't look like a raccoon. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We did. So I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to take what's left on my hand and then pat it out. It'll absorb whatever's extra on my skin and just give you that photo finish. I'm going to go in with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And look what happened. I just bought it not too long ago and it like 
freaking shattered when we were going to Disney World in Florida. We live in California, so it was a long trip, but it was really fun. Um, so I'm just going to take, please excuse how ugly it looks, but I'm going to take this beige highlight and I'm going to go in with some of the Benai, uh Banana Powder. And like I said, if you're using this on a client, please do not do this, but I'm just going to pour some of it on top. I don't really care for the yellow powder that's in the Lorac palette, so I'm just going to mix these two together in here, and I'm just going to place it under the eye. And then for the rest of my face, um, I'm just going to use this uh, Ben Nye um, Neutral, it's just colorless face powder, and <laughs> we bought it for... Um, for Halloween, because I did Tasha's face. Um, he was the, he was Frankenstein. I was the bride of Frankenstein, and the kids were both Dracula, and it was so cute. And I went to the store here in town. Uh, it's a costume consignment shop, and you can rent out costumes, which we didn't rent out any costumes, but they have a whole thing of Ben Nye of like Ben Nye um, cosmetics, and which is really good because. Like, otherwise you had to buy it online, and it was Halloween, and I was like, I'm not going to buy that crappy, you know, like, cream paint and stuff, so it worked out, like, so good. Okay, and next we're going to go in with the contour. Again, I'm just going to use this Bare Essentials brush, like, I don't know where I got it. It probably came in, like, a pack when it, I used to do that, but I'm going to take this medium contour and just pack it on there. It works really good, so... And then I'm going to go up the temples of my head. Down the sides of the nose. And on my jawline. I'm going to go in with the Lorac powder again. The beige one. And I'm going to take just a um, triangle thing. And I'm going to just... Bake the face. And don't worry about that powder, we will take it off in a little bit. What this does is it just gives you a really sharp, clean line. While that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. So now that the lashes are on, I am just going to let them dry for a second and then I'm going to put on another coat of um, mascara. Take this lip pencil in Cabernet by Jordana. Such a pretty color. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this as my lipstick and just put it all over the lips. If you want your lipstick to stay longer and it's not like, and it comes off constantly, I would just recommend using a lip pencil. I'm just going to add a final coat of mascara. That is our look. So I really hope you liked it and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.